What's up, Hacksters? So in my last installment about the Azure Sphere dev kit from Microsoft and Avnet, I talked about how to get the LED to blink. Uh, that's the onboard LED over here. And I've got the link to that video in the description to this one. Uh, this time I wanted to go a little bit further and talk about how to actually use the clickboard slots that are attached to the dev kit. Uh, so you've got slot one and slot two, you can attach up to two clickboards as well as having a slot for Grove modules from Seed Studio. So these click models are made by a company called Microelectronica, and there's hundreds of them. It's ridiculous. So it really expands your capabilities for what to do with the board. However, there's only code available for a few of these modules at this point, but we expect that to increase, and you could also contribute to it yourself, because GitHub. Uh, so let's take a quick look at what we got going on here. Last time we looked at this build the blink application quick start and if you want to actually make your own applications you should probably start with these examples which are on GitHub from uh, the Microsoft Azure team. In order to get the click module working, I didn't find anything in here that was particularly relevant to directly that application. So I snooped around a little bit more and I found a tutorial from Carrie Payette talking about how to hook up your Grove modules, but this is to a different edition of the Azure Sphere Kit, which doesn't have a built-in Grove connector or the click relay modules, but it did give me some hints on how to adapt the code that I found to working on this dev kit. So that points us to a library that could be pretty useful to you if you have a different version of the Azure Sphere dev kit and you're using the Seed Studio Grove Shield with that. I'm gonna close that for now because what I found later on was this click modules set of uh, code examples from Avnet. So, this is the clickboard library. This was pretty exciting because it has the word avnet and it has the word click in it. However, these are not yet exactly what I need in order to get the relay click up and running. These are just a couple of library files. I did find a cool element 14 post that references these. However, I also was not able to get it up and running from this alone. And that might be because I'm a bit of a software noob, but I needed something a little bit more handholdy. And I found that in this other repo on GitHub, also from Avnet, called clickboard underscore demos. And this is what I was looking for. This has demos specifically for the Avnet Azure Sphere kit, not for the pointy Seed Studio one, because that's not the one that I have. And it also has demos for the Ultra 96, and a couple of other options as well. So in here we've got an LCD demo, you've got the flame detector demo, uh, and then a couple of other ones, including our relay. Fantastic, and this, if you look into it, actually includes one of your VCX Prudge files for Visual Studio, and this is what I needed. So I downloaded this, and also the previous one with the click modules, and was able to sort of Frankenstein them together based on this tutorial from Carrie uh, about the Grove modules and turn it into some code that is working now. It's very exciting. So let's take a look at what we've got on Visual Studio. Here is the really demo. You start with a bunch of includes for different libraries, including relay.h. And this is what trips me up. I thought that it would just work out of the box. You do still have to link it to those other relay.h and .c files. Here's where you define the pins that you're using. So in this example, it's set up to use slot two. There's, remember, two uh, microelectronica click slots on the board itself. And this is set up to use slot two. If you put the clickboard in slot one, it's not gonna work. You're declaring your pins and setting them as uh, GPIOs. Then you're setting them to be outputs with the initial value low, so they start as off. So then we have this function that swaps the GPIO values of the relays around. Then we have a little bit of a debug log message that tells you about how it can be started. And then your main function, which is gonna just run for however long you set it here. By default, it's set to 30 seconds. I've changed it down to 10 because <laughs> it was kind of annoying the other people in the office. And then after printing to the debug log again, you're going to open the relay, sleep for one second, 
then your counter goes to zero, and then as long as your counter is less than the runtime of seconds that you put in at the start of the code, you're going to alternate turning the relays on and off. And then at the end, you turn them both off so that everything's all nice and zeroed out, print an ending message, and decide that you succeeded, which is pretty exciting. So let's see if this actually works. I'm going to hit F5, Boop. and we will see what happens. <laughs> starting the debugger service and you can see oops you can see that it turns one on then the second one then both of them on three four one two and it goes off hooray uh, in order to get to this point I did have to add um, a reference to the library, and I did that using the directions from Carrie. So down here, da, 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 instead of starting from a blank project, I started from that project that I found in the GitHub repo, uh, the clickboard demos, and basically used these directions here. We need to add the location of the library to the include directories of the project, because that's what I had to do is add the relay library to this demo project file where it wasn't already included as part of it. It was looking for it in the same directory where the project was, in fact, in a fairly specific place relative to the code. So here's where the project was uh, in the sphere underscore mt3620 directory, and then what I had to do was there's already this folder in here called click modules, and I had to just drag in this relay folder from the click modules repo into clickboard demos slash click modules and throw the relay folder in there. And then it worked! And that was extremely exciting. I also at one point added this as a reference in the solution itself, so it was like relay demo? Properties, properties, C and C++, general, and then additional include directories. You just grab that boy, hit edit, and you can add it as well. I'm not totally sure if that's strictly necessary, but I'm gonna try it again with another click module, whatever the next one ends up being. Probably one of the ones in the GitHub repo, or I could challenge myself and try to add another one. We'll see. I'm really not that great with software, so I'm just really excited to have made this little metronome thingy. And of course, a relay allows me to basically create a programmable switch for a set of lights or whatever I can think of that takes power in. It's just like uh, flipping a switch, except with code. So that enables all kinds of cool IoT projects. And in case you missed the previous info about this, it is a highly security-focused IoT platform. So check out our previous videos, including the unboxing that I did before, but also you can look on blog.hackster.io for more info. Also be sure to sign up for our contest. It's at hackster.io slash contest. Just look for the Azure Sphere one. It's called Secure Everything with Azure Sphere, and there's all kinds of fabulous prizes to be won. You have until September 29th to submit your solutions, so have at it, and hack on! Yeah.